Welcome to Behind the Song, everybody. Today we're gonna be talking about Lost in California, and then we're gonna play Lost in California. We're here in Great Falls, VA, in Brent's backyard, some roosters and all this stuff. Um, Brent, do you wanna set the scene of when we wrote Lost in California? Well, we were uh, traveling on tour and we stopped through Los Angeles and we wrote with one of my closest friends on earth, Gaden Giyikian, otherwise known as G-Money or Kill the Alarm. Um, one of the best people, producers, songwriters, friends um, that I have that I'm so grateful for. But we got to go hang out with him for a couple days in LA and uh, Gaden's setup is so beautiful. It's uh, basically his studio is the back part of this house that goes out to this pool <coughs> and um, all the doors are open in the house and it's just a really beautiful vibe. So as we're working in the studio, you feel the wind coming in and that set the scene for everything to come. Yes. I was just meeting G for the first time. I'd heard so many stories about him. Brent and, and G go way back. So it was like, it kind of felt like summer camp in a way between the three of us. We're like grown adults, but we had like four days in LA to do whatever we wanted to do. And we, we spent the whole time working on this tune. We showed up and uh, it was the last song we were gonna write for the record for Big Sky Lullaby. And we had just that intro piece. Dun, dun, ka, da, da, da. And then uh, we made like an instrumental arrangement for that whole thing built around that, that intro. And I remember it being like super collaborative too that like uh, G would be behind the computer or you would be behind the computer just adding in additional instrumentation and uh, different melody lines. And um, I was walking around the neighborhood for like three days trying to figure out like <laughs> what what to write the song about. The, the cool part about the whole process to me was that we added drums at the very, very last part oh, of yeah. the song. And that was so, so different because usually, you know, we'll find a drum groove and then adapt what we write to the drum groove. But this was different. This just had a couple simple um, instruments to really provide the groove. And then we wrote to it, and then the drums were the last thing to go on it. Um, it made it like more about the song in a way. Like you couldn't yeah. hide behind drums or uh, all of the additional stuff. Like it kind of had to start with the acoustic guitar and everything else come from that, which I think yeah. A lot of times you can get your best. Tunes. And I remember you had that initial guitar melody. Um, and you're like, I don't know what this is, but I, I think we can find a place for it. And it just felt so right as, yeah. the, as the intro. But then, like, lyrically, I, it, I mentioned, like, it took longer than a lot of the other songs. And even though we were in this, like, perfect place, perfect vibe, I I was personally feeling, like, a little stuck and blocked. And I hadn't written anything. We hadn't written in a really long time. We'd been on the road for a long time. And there was a lot of stuff, some big stuff in my life that felt like it was out of alignment. And so it's it's tough to write from that place, right? Because there's no, there's not as much like freedom when everything's in flow, then you just move out of the way. But uh, decided to lean into that. And so I brought up the title Lost in California or it just, we sang it as we were met. Yeah. messing with the song and everyone in the room resonated with the idea of being lost in California for like different reasons yeah. and so we could I felt like I could kind of pick from everything to like write this song about uh, a metaphor of being homesick but when your home is your your place of peace and refuge and um and everything is unfolding the way that it should be. We're at our high, and we always wish we could stay there, but you have to leave your home to like face some shit and then learn and grow, evolve through that, and ultimately makes your home a more beautiful,
place. So I think that's kind of like yeah sums up the lyric of the tune. Yeah, and I think that um, Godin always has a really. I think it's a pretty unique process of digging is digging deep and finding out like what those blocks are for people yeah. and then tackling them head on which can be pretty daunting um but it's ultimately everything that you want to do as a songwriter is go as deep as you possibly can yeah and so when you talk with him there's there's you know a couple hours of setup of just talking hanging out getting a feeling about what it is that's actually going on in your life and how to go about uh, writing. Yeah. You know? He's fast with that process too because he'll see it before, I think he'll see it before you see it a lot of times, you know? Like yeah. you don't have the awareness for where you're at, why there's these blocks and he'll set you up with some sort of process to get through that that you don't even really know you're going through yeah. a lot of times. And yeah. then, uh, because I remember as the song was coming, it was like, I don't even know what this is, what this is about. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, it feels like therapy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those are the always the best ones too. Where <clears throat> you're done, you're listening, you're like, whew, I needed to hear that, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So without further ado, sh should we play? Yeah. Lost in California. Lost in California. Here she is. Enjoy. That felt like the one. That felt like the one. That's the one. 